I took these two programs that I found online that were made to run in the background. Put them in my SEM, ASM uh, PDS. There's I believe it was NewSM 3 and NewSM 4, I called them. They were set up to be batch jobs, and one of them. I think it might be this one. It does work as a batch job because it's running to the console WTO. So if you execute this, it, it puts hello world. And I changed it from an infinite loop that would tear up your uh, your mainframe <laughs> um, and made it to do it just ten times. Um, you know, some four was a. Uh, similar job with an assembly to uh, write to a TSL console. The problem is it's running in batch mode in the background and so it never writes to the console. And so I had to figure out how to make, how do you make an assembly program into a uh, load module. And I was trying to do it first in line in the same uh, JCL uh, job couldn't make it work. Something was wrong with the way I'm doing SysL mod for the link ed. But I figured out that the uh, other programmers on the system were making a separate um, batch job. So I made, the first one I made was for uh, uh, new SM4. It was a make new SM4 um, job and then I seem to get away perfectly well with uh, uh, lked.sysl mod um, with the name of my data set and load live. I had trouble getting it to create the uh, the actual uh, load module executable thing in uh, load live but once I did it in here in a separate thing um, it's making it just fine. So what I I first did it, I made uh, make, make new SM4, um, and it created uh, this load module. Now you could run that now from TSO by giving um, call, the call command, and the full uh, data set name, like aspicer dot um, load live dot new SM4. Um, which is what the load module was called, and it would it would run it that way. But then I wanted to make it where you don't have to type all that. You don't have to type uh, call and the full thing. I wanted just like a short name, like new SM4. So um, anyway, this is what made the load module. My train of thought back here. Okay, then I had to make a uh, a command live, a CMD live, I think it was thing. First, I did it in sys2 dot command live, and that's where they had some ones that the uh, system programmers had done. Um, but I wanted to uh, first. I made one in there, and it works fine because it's cataloged. It finds it finds it by the short name, and everything's fine. Um, command process what it's called CMD process um, so in there now there's a, a script or a seed list right um, it's a C list and this procedure excuse me if you're putting my finger in 
front of it. This procedure um, does the call thing. So I made one for new SM3 and new SM4. So since we have a load module, now we can just type uh, new SM4 and it will run that one. That's the one that writes to TSO, writing your TSO session. And the other one is uh, new SM3. New SM3 actually writes to the system console. So you won't see that over here. But over in the console, you'll see hello world 10 times with a plus in front of the hello. So the console operator knows it's not a system thing. He knows it's just uh, something that somebody else um, sent. So it goes in there. It's also in the, uh, in the Hercules, which is the master console, the main console. So there you have it. Two assembler programs turned into load libraries, turned into TSO commands by a short name using uh, C-list uh, procedures. Over and out.